hello everybody welcome back to the channel thanks for joining me today in this video i'm going to show you how to make your own eye hyaluronic acid serum eye hyaluronic acid is a very solid uh humectant to have a baby soft skin you should use the serum once in a while even though the, the the one i'm going to make now cannot be compared to the market standard it's still something you can use at home so this is a diy hyaluronic acid serum and it's really helpful that you use it before you use your cream okay so after you've toned your face the first thing you want to do is to put in your serum then after your serum allow it to dry a little bit then you can put in your facial moisturizer so how do we uh, make hyaluronic acid serum the first thing you're going to need is sodium hyaluronate this is called high hyaluronic acid, okay? So that's the raw material we are going to use. Now, look in the description box below for where to get your home. We're going to make 1% high hyaluronic acid serum. You don't have to go all the way to 3%, 4% to see the effect. Just make sure you use low molecular weight version of hyaluronic acid serum, uh, of hyaluronic acid. Do not use the high molecular weight. The low molecular weight, it's, uh, it will penetrate better because the molecules are tinier, so it can penetrate your pore better. High molecular weight can form a gel, but it has larger molecule, it will not penetrate into your skin. So make sure you go for low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. So what the first thing you want to do is to measure one, so for this one, I'm going to make 1% of it, but I don't want to make uh, waste too much resources. So I'm going to make half of that, right? So I'm going to measure 0 0.5 gram of hyaluronic acid. So please note that down. I will not be giving you the, any other thing. Just make sure you get a note and write this down. Measure 0 0.5 gram of uh, hyaluronic acid, low molecular weight, hyaluronic acid 0 0.5 gram <clears throat> so after that the next thing you want to do is you're going to add water to it so we measure zero going to add 49 gram of distilled water to it 49 gram of distilled water So measure 49 gram of distilled water. To 0 0.9 gram of sodium of hyaluronic acid. So you mix it very well. You don't allow, you don't expect this to form a gel. It will not form a gel. Okay, so. Mix it very well. Now to protect your skin, what you want to do now is to add your favorite water-soluble preservatives. Okay, so you can use any preservative that you know, it's water-soluble. I have different video on this channel on different uh, preservatives to use, so look at the description box below for that video. So you're going to add, You're going to add your preservative to it, okay? Well, you, before you add your preservative to it, you have to make sure your hyaluronic acid has dissolved. So it, it requires a lot of mixing, but because it's low molecular weight, it's going to dissolve faster. So mix it well. Before you use this at all, make sure you sanitize your beaker, okay? Sanitize your beaker or anything you want to be using. Mix it well, then you're going to add 0 0.5 gram of your preservative to this, okay? 0 0.5 gram of your preservative will be added to this, okay? Add 0 0.5 gram of your preservative to it. Do not overuse your preservative, okay? Then you're going to mix it. Mix it very well, 
you want to check and adjust the pH. I've done tons of video on how to adjust the pH of your product here on this channel. So you want to look on the channel, you want to adjust the pH, you want the pH to be comfortable with uh, for your skin. So you might want to adjust the pH to something around four to five, okay? You don't want it to be too low, this is not a pill. You want to even, it's more comfortable if it's between five to 5.5. So adjust the pH because it's an acid, the pH is going to be low right now. So you want to make sure you had some um, 1090 light solution, okay? We do not, I do not use toxic pH adjuster. So if you add your light solution, 10 gram of light solution to 90 gram of distilled water is going to make 1090 light solution. So you can add that, okay? 1090 light solution, you can add that too. Add a little bit at a time, mix it and check out and adjust the pH to around 5 to 5.5. Perfect, perfect for the skin. So remember what you're going to use this for. You're going to use it before you use your lotion, okay? Right after using your toner, all you want to do is then use your serum. You ask me, why is this a serum water? There are different types of serum. There is a watery serum, this type, okay? It's watery, no added gel. Everything is just ready to go. It's, it's going to penetrate your pore faster than the one that have gel. I, I'm telling you that. Why? This active that we use, hyaluronic acid, okay, will work better for you, right, with this uh, liquid version than if you go with gel, okay? Just keep that in mind. That's why I always tell people, make sure you go, you go for liquid serum. And this is your own serum. Enjoy it. Keep in mind, wash your face, okay, with your favorite cleanser. Tone your face, then follow it with your serum. Serum is an anti-aging ingredient, okay? It's going to make your skin supple and soft, okay? It's this uh, serum, hyaluronic acid, is one of the one of the best you make chance to the market. It's non-toxic, okay? And the low molecular weight one penetrates the skin faster than the high molecular weight one. So if you want to buy any hyaluronic as a serum on the market now, you want to ask whoever made it to. It's more expensive also to ask them, okay, is this a low molecular weight or high molecular? They will not tell you, right? So low molecular weight one is what you want to get. So look in the description box below for where to get your low molecular weight hyaluronic acid, right? So that you can use it to make this. I did not put the formula in the description box because a lot of you want the formula right away without watching the video. No, it doesn't work that way. How do you want to compensate my effort? You have to watch my video today and that's how you support me. So if you look in this video, you will see, look again, you're going to see where the eating recipes i mentioned everything i use in this video so make sure you watch the video to the end to see everything i use to make this lovely lovely highly effective one percent okay hyaluronic acid serum so thanks for watching everyone remember this is a channel i teach cosmetic formulation at stable cosmetic formulas so join me there we do make different products every month so join me there uh, our next project is going to be how to make uh, facial lotion, okay, for sensitive skin. So if you have acne prone sensitive skin and you're worried about what kind of lotion should I be using, join us next month. That project is coming up on the 5th of May 2021. We are going to make a facial lotion to tackle breakouts and to deal with sensitive skin issues. So that's about it for this video. Thanks for joining me today. If you love this video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when I upload my next video. Thanks for watching.